Hello, everybody. How are you? Hey, Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come unto me, all that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You know, it's an invitation from Jesus. And uh, of course, we all have heard this verse so many times growing up or most common perception about this verse is it's just meant for unbelievers. But no, it is to us also who already believe in Jesus. But as the light, as life goes on and we are sometimes anxious and depressed and worried and wearied and or just downcast in our spirit and all that, we fall under that category too. The audience to whom God is calling out, the weary souls, we also are receiving that invitation. So come, and then Jesus is calling us because he's saying, I will give you rest. And uh, imagine you receiving an invitation from the White House or from whichever country you are in, the highest authority. Um, has extended you an invitation what do you do you drop everything and just run and i mean you get prepared um for that day and then you show up right nothing will stop you how much more when jesus himself is extending us that invitation all he's asking is come i'll give you rest he's not even asking us to give him anything he's saying come to me i will give you rest but yet we are here just uh not willing to accept the invitation and even rejecting it because we want to do things in our own way however we know how to do and then we fail utterly and miserably and we feel miserable after that and so this invitation accepting this invitation and receive the rest involves us to let go of the control, let go of the grip, whatever it is that you are holding on to, trying to solve it or resolve it or set things right in your own way, however you know how to do it, and it's not working, obviously, and you're still making different attempts at it, at the problem or at the person or in, within yourself, let go, let go, because God is working. He is already working in you and in the other person too. He is working. That is the job of the Holy Spirit. He is at work continuously and tirelessly working on each and every one of us. So you rely on him and just trust him that he is doing his job and you don't hold on to the reins. You let go of the control and see Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Psalm 46, 10. So just stand still. You don't do. You, you let go. God is working. Let him do the work. He is a gentleman. He never forces anything on us, it seems. Someone said that. That is very true. He doesn't force himself. He just waits us to let him take the charge. He is in charge of our lives. Let him have that position of authority in your life i know it is super hard it is super hard and you know in the to let go of the control but we have to do that we are required to do that because god he is god he is god he can do it nothing is impossible he can change anybody he can change any situation he can change you and he can change the other person also so just rely on him and let go of the control he will do it and you will see, once you let go, you will see God at work and you will be surprised, pleasantly surprised. And it will be so uh, satisfying to see God change you and the other person, whoever that is, the offending party. Okay, so it's a beautiful lesson. And also, um, you know, an, an illustration of a kid holding on to an ice cream already served in a cone and in his hand. And he's not enjoying it. He's just waiting. I mean, he's like um, saving it for later. If a kid doesn't enjoy ice cream and thinks that he wants to save it for later, but it is already in the cone and it is already melting, after later, what happens? 
There's nothing left. It is melting away. So he is not enjoying the experience of having an ice cream on a Saturday or any other time. He's, he's missing out on the enjoyment. He's missing out on the ice cream. He's missing out on the experience because he's holding on to it and still not enjoying, not reaping the enjoyment that it gives him. In the same way, if we try to hold on to things and people and whatever that is, that is not giving us a pleasant experience. It is in fact robbing us of that beautiful experience because we are holding on that grip and that control over that matter or that person. You may try, you may want to try and change the person by giving lectures and, and sh your emotions all over the place. And that's not how or what God is wanting us to do. He asking us to do one thing let go and let god let go and let god allow him to work in you and in the others around you okay it's a beautiful lesson i was very encouraged today hope it encourages you too god bless